Whenever we write, especially in this digital age, letters, words and sentences are generally monochromatic, mostly white or black. There are a few exceptions to this rule, but color is seldomly used to convey meaning. And if at all, then either only or not aesthetically. Color, however, is versatile enough to convey meaning in alienated conditions. As such a versatile tool, color can be woven into any text in order to make its components more distinguishable. There are millions of colors, therefore every word can possess its very own color. In the following, you will experience an artificial form of grapheme color synesthesia, a form of synesthesia which links colors to words. However, we are not just going to use normal colors, but also impossible colors, an incredibly large color group consisting of normally imperceptible, unique and mesmerizing colors. More on those later. So strap on your VR headset, which will help us perceive these impossible colors and enjoy this impossibly colorful ride. Monochrome text on its own already appears to be sufficient for reading comprehension and readability. Most people are used to it this way. Analogous to monochrome text is a black and white color vision, devoid of any colors. With such a colorless vision you would still be able to see, but it would be much more difficult to differentiate things. This is why there's a huge potential for colors to grant letters, words and sentences more meaning and lessen their contextual ambiguity. Digitally coloring characters is relatively easy. The contents of a text already obtain a lot more diversity if you color, for example, each word. Coloring letters can lead to more ambiguity depending on their use, and coloring sentences bestows each sentence with an incomparable expression, which makes clusters of sentences in larger texts distinct from each other, not just by their literal meaning, but also by their unique color. There are three reasonable levels to coloring text, the zeroth level of course being monochromatic text. In the following examples, we are coloring the text components consistently random. Coloring each word by hand is neither effective, efficient nor essential for adequately coloring words, except when you want words like green to actually be colored in green, for instance. The first level is to color each letter. This can be useful if you want to dissect isolated words, but it can lead to more ambiguity in larger letter arrays and texts. It's more useful in math or dealing with small numbers. The second level is to color each word. This is the most useful application, because words are generally the main conveyors of meaning. Coloring each word in a small text like this leads to greater word discriminability. And because each word's color is unique and consistent, a word's color is also conveying its meaning. The last meaningful increment, the third level, is to color each sentence and conditionally also its subordinate clauses. This only makes sense in larger texts and it can increase their readability and recognizability manifold. All of this is very useful and by merely randomly, but consistently, coloring a text's components in unique colors using the just mentioned methods, a text can be made much more readable. But while I said before that there are millions of colors, in fact about 16 million colors, that we can choose from, some of these colors become either unusable because they appear too similar against the background, or they are not unique enough in a larger context. A very dark blue will blur into a black background and will thereby become almost indiscernible. And while red is very different to yellow, it's less different to orange and even less different to vermilion, let alone different nearby saturation and luminance variations. As a consequence, a lot of words, while technically each having a distinct color, can appear to be almost identically colored. To solve this issue, we need a method to introduce more colors in order to make, for example, each word even more uniquely colored. And yes, I am aware how paradoxical and impossible this sounds. 
However, there indeed exists such a method. By implementing impossible color combinations into our color vision and thereby also into our artificially acquired grapheme color synesthesia, we are increasing our amount of virtually and actually perceivable colors from millions to trillions. Our color vision is inherently redundant, meaning that both of our eyes see colors equally and closing one eye leaves our color vision unchanged. Consequently, each of our eyes can be seen as a separate visual organ and both eyes' points of view combine into one only once they've reached the brain and are being processed there. Due to this peculiarity, color vision can be significantly altered in order to create impossible color combinations, colors that are forbidden in normal color vision. This is achieved by showing the same objects to each eye but in different colors. By implementing impossible colors into our color vision, we can color letters, words and sentences in trillions of more and consequently more unique colors. We are thereby amping up our artificial grapheme color synesthesia's color variety by effectively millions of times. And not only that, we can also combine two of the text coloring levels. We can, for example, simultaneously see each word and each sentence uniquely colored. In this case, a sentence's color becomes the base color and its words' colors become impossible color variations of their sentence's color. So each word's color will describe a sentence's color, while the sentence's color will influence each of its word's colors. The same level combination can be done with colored letters and words in order to make each word simultaneously singular and multicolored. A word will thereby not just have one unique color assigned to it, but each of its letters are differently colored also, painting their word in distinctive impossible colors. Because the letter's colors and the word's color are influencing each other to create impossible color combinations, similarly colored words on a page will be far less frequent at the very least and almost non-existing in general. This transforms the previously jumbled mess of multicolored letters into a more enjoyable and actually useful reading experience. And of course, a level combination of colored letters and sentences can also be done. Here's what that looks like. In order to have the best of both worlds, you can also combine, for example, white text with colored words. Especially in the beginning, this might be easier to conceive. And this setup prevents almost illegible, impossible dark color combinations, which do occur with randomness. This reinforces text with color while also keeping it original. All of this naturally implies that you've learned or have to learn to correctly see, identify and name impossible colors. As you might expect, having to literally learn hundreds of trillions of new colors, that's about 8 million times more colors than we can distinguish on a normal screen, can become a monumental task. 16 million normal colors is not just minuscule compared to the roughly 280 trillion impossible colors, but it's an unfathomably lesser amount. Luckily, you only have to learn how to perceive impossible colors in order to use them. Correctly identifying and naming them is definitely useful, but also a time-intensive task. It's a bit like studying normal color theory, just a few million times more difficult. Even I'm discovering new impossible colors I've never seen before almost every day. And I'm probably the one person in the entire world who's seen the most impossible colors for the longest time. But don't let this discourage you. Furthermore, in the description you can find a link to a chart I've made that contains all the major impossible color names. I've constructed them intelligently, so they are easy to learn and remember. Learning them will make it easier for you to efficiently conceive and effectively communicate most impossible colors. As you can see, text doesn't have to be bland, monochrome and lifeless. Letters, words and sentences can not just meaningfully be reinforced with color, but they can also sparkle in a super abundance of unique impossible colors. 
This creates a far more enjoyable reading experience, in my opinion. As the world of color and the world of text unite to form a multicolored and even impossibly colored singularity. Imagine a book with letters, words and sentences that are meaningfully colored in normal and impossible colors. This would not just simplify reading it, once you're used to it of course, but it'll make the act of reading the text itself an incredible experience. As every letter, in every word, in every sentence will contextually shimmer in a unique and distinctive color. With this said, I hope I've sparked your imaginations and convinced you that the act of reading itself, even secluded from the text's meaning, can be a lot of fun and much more interesting than it usually is. I am Wu Kui, and I will show you how to reshape and enhance your sensory experiences, because it is nothing but our senses that connect us to this world. I hope you had fun watching and learning all these impossible colors. Thanks for watching.